fireproof wine cup hotel was another foolish claim like the unsinkable Titanic. Men thought they could beat nature by building a hotel that could overcome fire and a boat that could conquer the ocean. In the end, both of these claims were wrong. Hi, my name is Abigail Hun, and today I will be talking about the Weinkopf Hotel fire. In this speech, I will be talking about the structure of the building, the rescue efforts, and the end results. In the corner of 176 Peachtree Street and Elliott Street stands the famous Weinkopf Hotel. The Weinkopf was considered the jewel and one of the safest hotels in all of the downtown Atlanta. At 15 stories, the hotel was known as the tallest building in Atlanta. Um, being made of stone and brick, um, the hotel was advertised fireproof. However, it had highly flammable um, wall coverings and furniture. In the online article, Tragedy in the South states that the hotel was based on a European design, which makes it a perfect square. The rooms were designed in an H shape with 15 rooms, two elevators, and one unprotected open stairwell. However, there were no sprinklers, no fire doors, and no fire escapes. In the documentary, The Weinkauf Hotel Fire, published by In One World Tours, states that there was an opening on the top designed to let smoke out, but it was closed at night, so the smoke began to pour back, creating an explosion, which was known as a flashover of fire by then. Since there was nowhere for the smoke to go, the smoke would mushroom out, filling the floors, and the stairway became like a chimney, making it impossible to escape from the inside. At 3.42 a.m. on December 7, 1946, the alarm went off at the fire department. Only three minutes later, dozens of fire trucks arrived at the hotel. The firemen were, felt hopeless. They were overwhelmed. Their ladders would only reach the eighth floor, leaving everyone above hopeless. And their nets could only help handle the impact from anyone above, um, below the seventh floor. Nine, 119 people died that night, and many were injured. In the article in Gainesville Times, written by Reynolds Garland, say, it says that 40% of the Weinkauf Hotel died that night, 30 of them being teens. Four friends were staying on the 11th floor in room 1130 to attend the YMCA Youth Assembly. After the fire, one of the teens' smoke charred open Bible was left by the window. Renault said that the Bible was on John chapter 14, let not your heart be troubled. These four seniors were one of the brightest high school students in all of Georgia. The Weinkauf Hotel fire made huge impact on fire, safety, and prevention codes. On the online article, Tragedy in the South states that the fire officials were furious and cried, never again. New standards were established and strictly enforced. Um, D. Stefan in the article, How Fire Regulation Came to Be, states that the Weinkauf Hotel was one of four major hotel fires, and none of those hotel fires had sprinklers. So countless of cities were acquired sprinklers in all public buildings, and hotels were required to have doors with uncombustible material, uncombustible material and kept closed at all times. Also, fire alarms and fire escapes were required. The famous Weinkauf Hotel was known as the safest hotel in Atlanta. However, it had no fire doors, no fire escapes, and no sprinklers. 119 people died that night on December 7, 1946. As a result, countless lives have been preserved by the fire safety codes. That codes and standards that happened to that tra tragedy. Um, just, like, just like the unsinkable Titanic, the Pyreproof Weinkauf Hotel gave man purpose prideful claims for their sh prideful claims for sure. <laughs>